Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to review the ultimate guide to raising startup capital. This is part 15 of a video series of a document that has over 100 pages. If you watch my previous videos, you know that you can click my Fiverr link below to get information on investor databases for venture capital, private equity, and angel investors. My databases include the USA, Canada, UK and Europe, the Middle East, China, Asia Pacific, and more. And my database includes multiple sectors and investment preference, such as tech, blockchain, healthcare, fintech, and e-commerce, but the main focus is on early stage seed investors. I also provide a pitch deck review service. If you are getting ready to send your pitch deck out to investors, I have a service on Fiverr where I will review it for you. 80% of the pitch decks that I see are not ready to be sent to investors. So what does this guide include? The ultimate guide to raising startup capital contains over 100 pages of tips on how to raise investment funds from angel investors and venture capital investors. Who is this guide suited for? The ultimate guide to raising capital is suited for startups looking to raise funds for their company. It is also suitable to help startups navigate through the fundraising process. What does this video contain? This video contains part 15 of the series and is about how will an angel investor or venture capital firm evaluate the merits of your pitch. So let's take a look at the ultimate guide to raising startup capital. If you would like to purchase the entire 100 page presentation, contact me via my Fiverr link in the description below. How will an angel investor or venture capital evaluate the merits of your pitch? During the fundraising process, a potential investor will evaluate the merits of your pitch in the following ways. Number one, problem or need. The investor will evaluate whether the business is solving a real problem or addressing a real need in the market. They will look at the size of the problem and the potential impact of the solution as well as the market potential for the product or service. They will also evaluate the uniqueness of the problem and the solution provided by the business and the degree to which it addresses a specific pain point of the customers. So that's a key part and it's a key slide when you're preparing your pitch deck. Number two, market size and potential. The investor will evaluate the size of your potential market and the potential for growth. They will look at the total addressable market, the segments of the market that the business is targeting and the business's potential to capture a significant share of that market. Additionally, they will evaluate the market trends, the market projections, and the economic factors that could influence the market. Again, what they're looking for here is they're looking for potential. Number three, competitive advantage. The investor will evaluate how the business differentiates itself from competitors and whether it has substantial competitive advantage. They will look at the business's unique selling points the strengths of the business model, the patents or IP, the distribution channels, and the brand. They will also evaluate the barriers to entry and the ability of the business to maintain its competitive edge over time. So in this case, they're really looking to see how you are competing against other people in the same sector and whether you have the ability to take the business further. Number four, revenue potential. The investor will evaluate the potential revenue streams and the business's ability to generate revenue. They will examine the pricing strategy, sales and marketing plan, revenue model, and the revenue projections. They will also evaluate the scalability of the revenue streams and the potential for revenue growth over time. Again, they're looking for growth in every aspect. Uh, number five, growth potential. The investor will evaluate the potential for the business to grow and scale. They will look at the business's potential to expand into new markets, to increase market share, to develop new products and services, and to increase revenue. They will also e evaluate the scalability of the business model and the ability of the business to handle increased demand. So again, this, these are items that you're already going to have incorporated into your business plan. You're going to have condensed uh, uh, versions of them on your pitch deck. Team. Number six, 
the investor will evaluate the qualifications and experience of the team and whether they have the ability to execute the business plans. They will evaluate the backgrounds of the key members of the team and their experience in the industry and in similar roles. They will also look at the team's track record of success and the team's ability to work together effectively. In almost all cases, the uh, investor uh, isn't necessarily investing in the idea. They're investing in the ability of the team to uh, expand the idea. Number seven, traction and progress. The investor will evaluate the progress of the business has made to date and any milestones that have been achieved. They will look at the customers, uh, business's customer base, revenue, partnerships, and any other key metrics that demonstrate traction. They will also evaluate the business's ability to achieve its milestones and goals and its potential for revenue growth. One of the things that I've noticed uh, when I've looked at angel investors is uh, the majority of angel investors are founders. They've already founded the business. They've uh, already uh, taken the business from from scratch and launched it and sometimes even uh, had an exit. Um, so what they're looking for is uh, founders and teams that can do the same. Number eight, use of funds. The investor will evaluate how the funds will be used to grow the business and to achieve a return on investment. They will look at the business's financial projections including projected revenue and expenses and the use of funds to achieve specific milestones and goals. They will also evaluate the potential return on investment, including exit strategy and potential exit scenarios. So what they're looking for is they're looking to see whether the funds are used mainly to grow the business. Um, if your use of funds is showing a lot of uh, purchases of uh, either real estate or assets that don't uh, necessarily expand the business, it's going to uh, raise a lot of eyebrows. Number nine, exit strategy. The investor will evaluate the exit strategy, including the potential options and timing and the potential return on investment. They will look at the business's potential to be acquired, to go public, or to be sold to a strategic buyer, as well as potential return on investment of each option. They will also evaluate the business's potential to generate a significant return on investment over time. Number 10, transparency and ethics. The investor will evaluate the founder's openness and transparency in whether the business is being run in an ethical and responsible manner. They will look at the business's compliance with legal and regulatory requirements as well as its commitment to ethical and business practices. They will evaluate the founder's ability to communicate effectively and to provide accurate and transparent information to investors. Um, a, an investor may very well go back into your history. They may look at your social media accounts. Um, so it may be a good idea to clean up anything that may raise eyebrows as well the nose. And a lot of people forget about that uh, when they're, uh, whether it's going for a job interview or trying to raise funds for a company, um, it's best to try to take a look at some of the things that you've posted online. And if there's anything in there that um, uh, you necessarily do not want to be judged on, you might want to get rid of it. So this finishes off this part of the video. In the next video, we're going to cover off when is the right time for a founder to approach an angel investor or a venture capital firm for their startup. Please click my Fiverr link below for more information on my investor databases and the services that I provide for people who are looking to source capital. Thank you for watching.